Mali is one of the West Africa's poorest countries, but it, had, it has started a solar power revolution in the countryside. It is promoting clean energy to improve the lives of women, reduce poverty, and safeguard the environment. Viewers Paul Dio has the story. These women in rural Mali are involved in efforts to meet the country's energy needs while protecting the environment. They've left their old jobs of cutting down forests and started their own community plant nurseries instead. Now the forest is regrowing and our work does not take as much effort as chapping down trees. Fanta Sisi and other women in Mali's remote forest regions are receiving financial and technical assistance to start the plant farms through a government project backed by the World Bank. The project has placed about 874,000 hectares of land under the management of community groups to produce a sustainable supply of wood for cooking and heating. Ture Shiki, a Mariana energy and electrification official, says the project is also making life safer for women and children around the country. Most of the women are leaving the exploits of forest wood for the nursery, which is producing trees and vegetables, and they make more with less effort and the forests are preserved. Mali's energy project is broad based supporting the production of improved cooking stoves. And this solar power station in Camparena is the first of its type and scale in West Africa. Solar power now provides light for nearly 9,000 homes and buildings in Mali. Cooking fumes are a major health problem for 1.6 million women and children around the world who get sick or die from them annually. This corresponds to 38,100 women and children in Mali a year. 40-year-old Wilder Sina Bagayogo lives in Camperena. The solar power station, he says, is providing the energy he needs to operate his business closer to home. It's made it possible to work here. We used to have to go to another town. Analysts say that Mali's renewable energy initiative will improve the lives of more than 70% of Mali's population who depend on subsistence agriculture. Paul Liho, VOA News. For more information on any of today's stories, please visit us online at voaafrica.com. You can also visit us on Facebook. Just search for In Focus.